I'm DeLove Woods here with St. Mary's assistant coach Dewey Taylor. You guys play South Salem tomorrow morning. How are you guys feeling about that 9 a.m. game? Uh, it's an early game, but we feel good. We had a great practice, great come together, and uh, our girls really love our one senior. They really got a lot of team camaraderie and love for her. And we want to send her out on top, and we want to end our season right. Um, you, you guys had a tough loss against Westview. I think a lot of people thought you were going to be able to knock them off. Um, what was what was your biggest frustration with that game? You know, um, frustration throughout, of course, the foul trouble that we got in, and it, it really, we just never recovered from the foul trouble, and um, having such impact players like Ben Duyaney and Tyshell Blake on the bench was was tough. You know, we're a team that usually dominates teams rebounding-wise, and we lost the rebounding battle in that game, as well as Jamie was Jamie, and um, it was tough. Not only did Jamie put up her 30-plus, she had 14 boards against us, and that was tough for us to overcome. Um, you guys are losing everybody but CC next year. Um, more than enough weapons. Tell us about Martina coming back, Bindu coming back. Um, I mean, Tyshell coming back. You guys got a plethora of players fully stocked at St. Mary's. What are you expecting for the next season? Well, I just want the girls to just be hungry. See the little things, the, maybe the extra shots we could have got in, just the little things you could do, and make sure that you walk away with no excuses. You didn't leave anything out there. And I have nothing but all confidence in our young ladies that they're going to do that. You know, I know they already have vacant plans for spring and summer to play basketball, to keep working on their craft, getting better. And uh, that's kind of was the plan. Let's, let's get better. Let's find a way to get better. You know, 19-game win streak was great, but the one loss taught us so much as well. So that, that's really it. Um, right now, 6A state championship game, South Medford, Oregon City. Who's your pick? You know, um, I'm going to have to go with Oregon City. I, I coached out there many years, and a lot of those girls I've seen grow up and love them to death and uh, sitting here watching them tonight and just so happy for those young ladies, knowing how many hours those kids really put in. Those kids, I've seen those kids grow up putting in a ton of hours, so I'm going to be rooting for them. I want to see them get it done. Obviously, Jamie Nard's a great player here uh, at this tournament, the focal point of the tournament, obviously. Who are some of the other great players that you've seen here in this tournament? Uh, I think, you know, every team here has great players. You look at Gigi Stoll with Beaverton, um, phenomenal golfer, but one of the best outside shooters in the state. You know, Westview, as good as Jamie is, one thing I was really um, happy to see, especially for the, you know, one thing that took us by storm when we played them was their um, the role players, how they stepped up. But Ivina Westbrook, uh, McWilliams from South Salem, they're tough. They're tough. So, I mean, throughout every team, I think here, they there is a player that stands out. Well, good luck to you guys tomorrow on that breakfast game. <laughs> Thank you. All right.